So welcome everybody. Uh, we have today, we have now a Kanchana with Dagara, um, long time open source enthusiast, uh, community contributor, a member of the Apache Software Foundation and contributor for the Apache Axis C++, Geronimo and other open, open source projects. A technologist at, at the JP Morgan Chase, member of FinTech Open Source Foundation, help organizing Apache conference, community events in Asia, Europe, and the USA. Kanchana's experience includes being a lead developer at JP Morgan Chase. Previously, she was an inner source evangelist at PayPal. Also proud mother to a geeky boy and girl. <laughs> Good. So Apache way, and leading edge engineering behavior. Looking forward to your presentation. Good luck. Thank you so much, Javier, for that uh, long introduction. <laughs> uh, folks, the bleeding edge engineering methods with the Apache Way, uh, initially, uh, and also I need to say hello to everyone that uh, who are uh, present, uh, pre present in my session. And this is a little bit of me actually have you went through all that uh, earlier so i'm not going to go over that and uh, let's dig into the details um, i know most of uh, have heard about the apache software foundation and its history and all that enough but to set in the context of uh, as a community how powerful uh, we are and in our competencies and our uh, engineering methodologies, uh, which nowadays that we have realized as some of the industries have realized and trying to practice and try to emerge with those. But in the history, how, how we have been doing and how we have been successful uh, and now the industry is absorbing all that method methodology. So let's let's talk a little bit about the ASF and who we are and how powerful we, we are before getting to the actual context um, of the topic. So the Apache Software is a, is a non-profit organization. And we, we are 501 seats, three charity, and known as an um, ASF in a short form. And uh, we are a fashioned global community and we have a lot of loves for the love for the diversity and inclusion and um, you know disregarding your geographical location disregarding your uh, what you do uh, what we matters is the merit across for us uh, that is that is something that we possess all the time as a community and also we are very known for apache hd TP server and the Apache licensing. With that, we talk about that we present a tremendous uh, uh, success of industry readiness and robust software to the world uh, without any cost. And how we do this and how we, how, what is this community power to do this? So just to go through the uh, static stick, uh, and the, the use cases of our power, if you look at 80% of world's website, uh, worldwide websites are using uh, Apache software. And if you look at mobile phone to the space shuttle and also any industry that you can think about have used Apache software and also uh, they are making money out of those um, software. So when we build as a community, uh, we build the quality software and also we achieve the industry need uh, of the uh, the software. We we are very current. So let's let's see how 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 do we do this? So Apache Software Foundation is being twenty one years and bringing all that competencies and bringing all that uh, robust industry readiness software to the world. And the secret behind that is the best engineering methodology that anyone can realize um, is the Apache way. So let's dig in into the detail. What is this Apache way? The, the listed items are like 
couple of those values that we follow. One thing is openness. Uh, the openness is like our knowledge base, our communication, our every operation, our software, the source code, uh, our uh, documentation, and the beyond that, even the uh, some of the project decisions are ha handled in very open way within our superpower of the ma mailing list, uh, which all the the level of users uh, and the contributors, all the level of the, the community pyramid uh, uh, are contributing through uh, our user mailing list, our contributor or the developer mailing list, and the PMC and the, the, the hierarchy, entire hierarchy syncing with a very transparent uh, communication mechanism. And how do we handle the collaboration? So like I mentioned earlier, the Apache Software Foundation has been uh, producing and giving an opportunity for enthusiastic developers to innovate and get the most current solutions uh, into the Apache Software Foundation and under it, they release under their the license. And we don't find engineering silos or wrapped up a huge code base within our project uh, and in other terms, we don't find any tech depths or um, any um, obstacle to deliver the purpose of that software. And we don't have a professional support model, but we have a community support model of uh, hand, uh, fixing bugs and improving and enhancing. Uh, that all works because of the proper collaboration that we have within our community. And also, I talk about the community pyramid. So we have a huge user base, and we have uh, little less than the user base. We have the contributors for those software. And on top of that, we have the trusted committers, and then we have uh, the project management committees and so forth. So when you look at this, uh, our community, different categories of that, if someone, if, if a user of one of these softwares wanted to uh, achieve a trusted commutership or uh, to become a, a contributor, we have set a path in a very smart, may, a smart way offering the quality mentorship. If someone send a bug fix with a pull request, uh, for a for a software that they have seen because the, uh, all the tracking bug tracking systems are available to access for anybody, so they can uh, they can send a pull request to the community. So initially they won't have the right access to our infrastructure. But what happens is the co-developer of that software will jump in and then help that person to achieve the goal of like getting that feature fixed. So this is volunteer based quality mentorship. So every project has their coding standard, uh, how they merge their pull request, and uh, what, what are the, the steps to uh, fix that bugs. And what is, if it is current, if it is an outdated bug, if what release that has been fixed. So those education will be provided by the community. So that takes an effort of a quality mentorship. So for that quality mentorship is empowered by the meritocracy, the, the mentors that who have been doing that great work within the community to, to, to the grow the community and also to pro, the, enhance the quality of our Apache software. Apache software, they have been recognized by the, the meritocracy. So those uh, developers eventually uh, who get the right access to the our core repositories based on their credibility. So we we establish a trust, and that's why we are, when they have right access, we are invite them as trusted committed to our committers to our repository. So the quality mentorship also paid off, and also the person who initially wanted to contribute to that, they become a more strong contributor, or they become uh, the trusted committers over the over their contributions uh, for longer period and uh, the quality mentor helped them to climb the ladder up that's how the apache uh, way quality mentorship works and 
if you look at multiple Apache way, uh, multiple Apache software, you have the Apache Tomcat, you have the Apache Kafka, and all that famous projects. The way that they operate, while respecting for these uh, values, they have their own way. How they tag their there is no a definition. This is Apache way, and you have to follow these these instructions. They have figured out what works better for them as a community. Are they doing their knowledge sharing session for a meetup or a webinar? So uh, apart from the online documentation, other activities, how, uh, how do they handle? And how do they incorporate with the, uh, or the cross function with the other communities? Um, that's, uh, that's, that's something that they have figured out. So we can really emphasize, okay, this is Apache way that a across all the Apache Way project, the, the Apache Software Foundation communities operates. Under the code of conduct of Apache Software Foundation, following the above mentioned value, the quality mentorship, the collaboration, openness, meritocracy, within that, they have figured out own way of what best work for them. Uh, I talk about the meritocracy, that's what it simply means that people who work hard, uh, they deserve. They they get to the trusted committee levels. They get to the right access to our repositories, and they can narrate through our software, their software involvement uh, directions, and uh, make those critical technical decision what and consider what best for the community so they get more the control of the narrative of the software so those are the the brief and um, the how we as a tech technical community how we operate and how we develop the software uh, which is with a good quality uh, and the robust and industry readiness um, let's move on to uh, to peek at how we handle the uh, openness and the collaboration. Uh, we are based on an internet-based uh, infrastructure. Our tracking system, so you can see in the first bullet, um, the, the code, rep, uh, code uh, repositories are available. If anybody can, any user can download and uh, use it. And there are documentation accessing different knowledge levels. So even you, you have zero knowledge, there will be a quick start to within 30 minutes up and run your software. And then if you want to deep down, you can use the use, user guide and the developer guide, the architecture guide, and it address your knowledge level and it helps. So we have a, uh, for any Apache software, uh, software, if you look at, you would find in their documentation supporting to uh, absorb this software and then use it and learn it and modify. We have ac we have provided access for all that wide range wide range of knowledge uh, share uh, accessing different knowledge levels. Build pipelines. If someone commits a, commits a bad commit, that's pretty transparent to the community and someone else from the community will shout out this 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 merge, you know the the broke our system immediately. Someone has to fix that. And also the communication, like I said, we have the superpower archivable uh, mailing list, which is categorized and again, uh, addressing the different knowledge level. We have user community, that's for the user mailing list and for the developer mailing list and the PMC and different level, different management level and all that discussions are pretty transparent and those are archived. Even that has been uh, archived and preserved for the new newbies to learn quickly and to make the community very efficient that we had this discussion before. We had this bug in our quick start guide and that has been discussed on this mail archive. When So we encourage when a newbie comes into the, the community before throwing that question into the community, go back and look at the archive. So we have preserved discussion uh, as a part of getting in, in our, to, to get the help in our ramp up uh, uh, path, path uh, ramp up uh, roadmap, go look at the archive. That's that's one of the best practices that, that we do to keep the community very efficient. So when, when talking all of that, so 
the industry folks that you and me that who works in fintech uh, not necessarily the fintech any industry might be familiar with some of the inefficiencies that you had earlier uh, like when i wanted when when you run to a problem and then that problem uh, when when a newcomer comes and asks a problem that problem had been already discussed but we didn't have chance to preserve that so you can relate all these concepts with the day to day life that you are spending with your industry and not only that the community pyramid that i talk about we have a user in the left side of uh, mine on the screen uh, you would see that the user contributed trusted committer pmc that's the the, the very uh, minimal community that i put in the sf and also on the the right side of the screen you would see the fintech um, or the any industry uh, community pyramid if you consider your team uh, the smallest business unit of your organization that pretty much a community you can recognize that it right away because you will have internal external users um and then there will be core developers on top of them there will be leads and architects and the management um and also apart from that externally you will have different forces like if you are a financial organization you will have definite regulations the compliance and the governance and security all that need to be handled that's that's external parties that's the nature of the business but when you look at the similarities you will identify the smallest unit of your organization will have, can consider as a community so we have a community within our industry and if you face any engineering efficiencies now what uh, having that that concept in the mind so all of a sudden we ran to a new normal which is uh, driven by the pandemic and many all school uh, many or many all school uh, nature of business uh, what happened um, sorry i think i going back on the slide sorry where i wanted to get was this when the pandemic hit the industry realized we are, are now not in a one shade we are a global distributed community and uh, also we need some openness uh, we didn't write this documentation so someone else cannot uh, get that knowledge from us we are holding this knowledge how do we handle this inefficiency and we need a lot more collaboration uh, we need some one on ones and there there's the engineering chaos we had to sort that out we had to hop in a call uh, share a whiteboard so we realized the need of uh, better engineering collaboration within the industry um, and this change happened over a day we were not 100% especially the small and medium car industries the organization they were not really were ready for this and also we we realized if i know this code base i need to bring up to the speed another couple of people on to this and then they can transfer this knowledge to the the some other team uh, the cross functional team that they need it and finally that we realize we need some proven the recognized model of happen in this collaboration happen in this uh, openness and the quality mentorship that is where the people realized uh, we need a proven mechanism a better engineering methodology uh, that we need how we can collaborate well how we can open our knowledge to others and uh, we need quality mentors to drive this business and the technology so why that has been in a in a panic situation uh, of uh, you know old school traditional industry when we ran into this pandemic uh, why we why that occurs many engineering um, uh, inefficiencies when you as a, when you have to operate as a distributed the distributed uh, community uh, and how we 
how we realize what we should do and all that happened because the it's it's very known that traditional businesses especially the fintech we had money to invest on uh, buying the vendor basis software and we had uh, uh, we bought that software initially and we uh, we were not scalable. Uh, some of those are uh, like blocking us from the innovation and uh, horizontal scaling uh, of the uh, architecture and that build engineering silos. So when the pandemic hits, we were, if you were in engineering silo and when you realize that when all of these happen, that is where the industry started leaning onto um, distribute the knowledge, share the knowledge, make it open, and have this open discussion with each other. So major problem was that resolving and breaking down this engineering silo that they created over the years. And with the engineering silo, these are well-known issues that we face day to day. One is the architecture, it's less uh, scalable, we talk about it and the limits the innovation. When some, some wrap around software and then our, if, uh, if our architecture is not a clean architecture, if we cannot like uh, break it down to the modules, then we cannot, if we make a change onto that uh, software, we can shift to the production level until that entire engineering silo get fixed. It, it'll fall apart if you make a one change onto that. So also if that is sticking to a one, uh, the part of a one platform or a one language, we will not be able to leverage any innovation to pick up with the current trend of the technology or move into another better solution and efficient solution of that software. And also the code quality, you know, uh, when, when those, uh, big components of uh, solid uh, uh, engineering silo sitting there and then even to make a little code change that will take uh, the whole uh, you know quarter of a time to get that to the production so it's not that something that you can write once and deploy anywhere that that sort of a nature so one problem with that if this engineering silo was growing for last 10 to 15 years this is very common this is very more common in the industry especially the the traditional industries like the finance and if that is if we didn't preserve that technology te uh, the communication the problem solving situation that we had before uh, we can keep running into the same situation and we don't have a history of that conversation because we haven't archived or we haven't uh, preserved that conversation. So we are, we are slipping a lot of information that we already sorted or the similar environment in that way. And the cultural behavior, the people who are sitting on these uh, engineering silos, they hold the knowledge to us, the, to themselves. And that course, the team A is holding the, the knowledge from team B, so the team can move forward uh, with their initiative. And we have seen this very often. Now the team is uh, breaking something that team wants that to go on the production, but team A is now making a priority to fix that. And when works in the engineering silo, the other problem is the it's get very less audience on their code base. Uh, in the Apache Software Foundation, the any commit message, any any commit uh, Git char can be weaved by any any person that um, in the Git repository. So you put more eyeballs for the quality of the software, and that nature is missing in engineering silo. Uh, less craftsmanship, less ment uh, mentorship, because people don't know everything because it's a, like a huge thing. People have components hold on to them or the part of the, the engineering silo hold on to that. They don't know how to transfer. There is no transparency of uh, who knows what. And quality mentorship is really tied to implementing there. And Obviously, that course because of the less openness that this is being a chain effect that 
uh, people who know the knowledge has not been put up a documentation that's in their mind. So there is no openness of uh, what need to uh, uh, what need to discuss among the cross, cross functional team. And everyone is lack of uh, awareness, you know, what's going on in the other engineering silo. Can that is there is a reusable component that I can use in mine? Probably they kept reinventing the wheel, same functionality. And they don't get a time to uh, or realize that there are reusable software that they can use. And the business and the ma business and the management and the, the in in that context, this create if you onboard a new new person to the team, when there is a engineering style, it's so hard for that person to get up to the speed. And that creates the less velocity. And the less business collaboration, when you in a silo, the, the business transparency also less because you don't know how powerful is that software if you brought some of the component from them into yours. So less business collaboration and we can have a great vision of uh, uh, make the software efficient by reusing the software. And also the business generation become less. So most of our, of you in the audience probably might have run on the same and same uh, similar situation within your organization if you work for like industry and uh, being with engineering silos. So breaking down engineering silos is the best way. So how do we do that? So someone in the organization is familiar with how do we do as in uh, the the in the apps apache software foundation and um, in when i work for jp morgan chase uh, we had i was uh, i in my team uh, we were the very uh, initial team to go with the microservice architecture uh, while and deviating from the siloed architecture for a payment platform uh, the receivable payment pla platform so in that uh, the most engineer, the, the most uh, uh, value that I added with my experience was operating and the bringing up all the engineering be best practices uh, from the Apache way. And literally, we have to, uh, like I mentioned, in the we have different forces, so we have to be mindful about the regulations and the, the company wide policies and the security and of, uh, uh, all of that. We still build up a uh, very solid engineering process using Apache Way concepts so we can deliver our software continuously and also a very client centric way with the quality and very modularized, very clean, uh, based on very clean architecture. So, only way that we have to look out. Um, how do we break the engineering silos and how we can open our uh, the knowledge and uh, how we can uh, uh, effectively have a conversation about a, a pull request uh, over that and how do we preserve that conversation to la later use. So it's again, the I had the confidence being with the Apache Software Foundation and um, and, and this this proven method works. We the Apache Software has been doing this for last 21 years, and most industries emerging to that uh, after after the special incidents of the, the pandemic, and when we have to distribute uh, distribute when we have to uh, work uh, in a distributed manner. So this is how uh, uh, this is a one example and a use case. Now, uh, I have set a context onto that. So we have a team, which is our community pyramid, and our uh, unclean architecture, it's a big engineering silo sitting there, and the raw red box is a uh, some commercial software. We don't have much handle of it. So so problem with that is, so we have a commercial software, and uh, it's blocking uh, scaling uh, out and up, like scaling out our the clients and the scaling up uh, scaling out our architecture and scale up the performance and all of that that was blocking and the the vendor supports if we have to get a support uh, we can let the 
entire engineering silo to wait until we get that winter support. So um, those are the bad forces that we had when we, when we have to deal with that engineering silo. And the CICD issues, the entire engineering the, the silo has to be built to deploy that and into the production to get the full functionality of that. So it wasn't, it wasn't working for us and a lot of tech devs and let's open us what's happening in this uh, commercial software. And that added a lot of less innovation and very less agile. So those are the bad forces with, with that uh, context that we had. In the green section, so how we how we transform uh, in in Apache software? If you look at in the architecture level, it's pretty clean. And one, if you build a one component, you can uh, you can actually deploy that component uh, directly to get get that functionality. So the same way we started up optimizing the dependencies and isolate uh, isolate the, the based on the domain this can sit in there but this can be another module that way so we with that that single uh, that modularization helped us to deviate from that unclean architecture and get a clear visibility and uh, choose a scale out uh, first like we, we, we choose like how do we scale out the architecture this way uh, uh, so that we can uh, effectively make a, uh, effectively like when you isolate it as a one module, that module can go through the entire software development life cycle without having other modules um, touched. So that was a great win. Then again, we thought about this red box is sitting in this module. We isolate that red box to a one module. So we can wait without um, any problem until the, the support group get back to our, us to, for that commercial software. So we move forward uh, with the rest of the modules development until we get a support onto that. So we didn't really ignore that software. We still use that, but we isolate that problem. This is a very, very common uh, strategy, strategy that we see in ASF as well. Um, uh, we produce a lot of uh, the design analysis for decommissions, like can we replace this vendor basis software with an open source software? And um, by looking at the ASF product that how, how they have done that being, uh, how they had uh, approached the, to, to, uh, uh, to modularize each each those software without compromising the the main purpose of the software and also the 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 utility software that around that. So we utilize some of those utility software. We when ASF most mature mature software they have utilities along that. You can generate your stub and skeletons with uh, this grid computing tool. But the, the core, core software would be um, some soap engine or something, but, but you provide some tools to uh, make the engineering efficiency, uh, to enhance that and make the engineering efficiency more. So, and, and also did help us to get going a very smooth CI-CD process and also um, address tech debt. Like we, we started seeing when this architecture put in modules, we see the, uh, we, it, it was very easy to address the tech debt because the problem got narrowed down to a one module or a two or, or modules. So we could see the cross impacts on a one change that we have to do. And this became more agile because we had uh, chances to move forward with our, uh, with our software development. So the so the block could on hold, but the rest of modules are being uh, built and then deployed, uh, deployed in the production. Only a couple of functionality was not supported, so that entire engineering silo has broken down. While this process happened, we we did a lot of documentation on that when we are doing that. We had a lot of architecture analysis, design discussion, and all this discussion is preserved for the later use. And the transparency of entire transformation was documented, which could uh, help any knowledge level 
of uh, newbie to the strong uh, senior developer to the tech lead to understand in a very short time how this transformation happened. So we we found um, uh, we found that Apache Software Foundation uh, documentation standard how they ca categorize that. Uh, uh, the the quick start guide and how and and also we produce a documentation which describe the each module and etc and the the as a resolution we were totally unblocked from the uh, the scaling up and out and also we had a clean architecture at the end of the day and we had we figured out a working apache module uh, a working apache way and when we press, when you are as a distributed team and uh, it's sometimes more than 100, 150 of uh, tech uh, brains uh, putting together in, in everywhere in North America and also some part of that is in um, Asia. So with, with all of that, uh, we collectively build a knowledge base to open to everyone. And we had found to ramp up time within this and we were generating business after the pandemic and also we had a lot of hires and we were uh, new hires and then we groom up them pretty fast like we, we used to do uh, it's more if it was more efficient uh, how we handle that in the in-house and if you compare with the remote it was pretty efficient and uh, we increase the, the velocity and we increase the openness that that's a one case study that uh, out of how we wall as an uh, architecture clean architecture um again i ran into the same problem i have a delay in the the with my keys sorry about that so with the well-known results, uh, I already discussed that uh, the following the Apache way was a great um, way to achieve this, achieve this. Uh, I got my new mask. I dropped my arm. Sorry, presenting from home. I got, <laughs> I got a first grader in home. Sorry. And then these are the outcome results that we achieved uh, within this uh, uh, new normality of the, the pandemic and as a distributed team, as an engineering um, a team in a uh, very uh, traditional industry and still generating the business. So we can, uh, so what we realize is Apache way that the, if we had done this before, we could have trial out this uh, distributed communities with Apache way within the industry and make a strong case and be ready for this pandemic if we ever realize, uh, uh, you know, to to prepare for the crisis. But anyhow, uh, today we are in a good shape as a distributed system. Um, and currently, I'm working for a new company um, called Amount, and I'm trying to establish the same concepts uh, because we have strong use cases in the in the larger companies that how we transform uh, transform. From, from to become a more uh, efficient distributed um, technology team. I would happy to take any questions if you have uh, upon this uh, presentation. Do we have any questions? Uh, hello. Any questions from the audience? I think that there's no one posted any question. But very interesting your presentation and now we are heading to the last well th this was the the, the the last session the i um, think so javier yeah now we have the birth of a feather that will Excellent. be available in five minutes and we wait we wait you there and so we can have like an unstructured discussion and talk about what we learned today and 
other stuff that we always discuss. Hopefully, James will bring his guitar and. <laughs> Yeah, interesting question, James. We sometimes hear that companies put up roadblocks for contributing back to open source project. I think the uh, that trend has been changed uh, uh, with the with the proper realization, especially with this uh, pandemic situation. Many large companies realize that distributed co the co distributed contributors can uh, be efficiently work, but knowingly or knowingly, what they follow is what we do in the Apache Software Foundation. They follow the Apache Way internals. Uh, road, there are, I agree with you, but if you look at the, the major, uh, uh, the financial uh, uh, banks uh, and uh, organization like Goldman Sachs, the JP Morgan Chase, they, they, they are working with the Pinoyes and the Linux Foundation, and they encourage the, the contribution. I, I was one of the panelists uh, of reviewing those, uh, the code shipment that we did from the internet, homegrown uh, code systems, uh, code uh, solution to the public repository. So I personally know, and we provided uh, the sponsorship within that. So in our, the only thing is the, the, the companies, they didn't have, they didn't see a proper platform or proper integration. Then they started putting it, uh, putting uh, roadblocks. Now the trend is like when the big companies are doing this and they realize this value of it. And when we have uh, organization uh, to connect with like the Pinoyes and the, the other Linux foundation, when see that and there's a there's a trend to take back those uh, the roadblocks and encourage their developers uh, and and they see the powerful external uh, competencies that they can absorb to the inside through the community um, through the external community to the internal developer community. Uh, we have a, uh, you need to have educators uh, and who really, uh, if you are really, if you have a one single person that who makes a difference and talk through all of that and take use cases and uh, and show it to them, I think that everyone realized it wasn't very hard for me to convince for my uh, new company, which is like a, uh, which is like 600 out uh, the tech community and um, the size of the employees is about 600, and that they are so willing to uh, uh, connect with the Finois, and then they realize uh, uh, the value of it. And um, it's, it's, it's typically the nature of the business and also the, the knowledge and the awareness that they have contributing back to the community is a key to build another external knowledge base for them. Did, did I answer your questions, James? I think the, the, so for me, I started as a sharing my personal ex experience. I started with IBM fellowship to contribute to the ASF. So I wrote code for the, uh, for the uh, Apache Software Foundation with the, the, the fellowship sponsored from the IBM. So the project manager who was there was trying to, trying to have the ownership of the code to the IBM. So we had to, we had to really talk through and and open source, you know, they have that direct conversation. This is how the open source work that belongs to Apache software that has to represent the ac actual contributor uh, to the community. Uh, that's, that, that's not the IBM, that's the individual contributor who wrote that piece of code. So we need to get established that meritocracy within the community. So we had all that discussion. I think the, the if the leadership, um, 
is convinced and if the leadership ha has the, the right uh, awareness of the current market trend and how the knowledge works and uh, if if they research enough they can they can uh, easily merge with this uh, and take off those roadblocks that people still can contribute back to the community and that's how the software can evolve that how the the competency and the external knowledge can be help us to the internal community thank you so much javier we'll see you later thank you Kanchana, um, we have um, the B of session. I'm, I'm pasting, pasting the, the, the link in the chat. Now it's open. Uh -huh. We'll see you there. See you there, Javier. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.